This is my 1969 Volkswagen Type 3 Squareback. It's an original sunroof car with automatic transmission and still retains all of the original fuel injection system. I just want to make this video because this car will be going up for sale if it's not listed already. And I want to show some of the details that went into the restoration. This car was purchased from the original owner back in 2015. There's actually a video of it in its original condition here on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description so you can take a look how far it's actually come. The restoration itself took mid two years, perhaps. Uh, it was a full bare metal restoration. Uh, there was damage to all the fenders, and that was all repaired, as well as rust in the floors. They were completely rotted out, and so I had to re-weld new pans and all that good stuff. I uh, completely reupholstered the interior. Unfortunately, I'm not the best at upholstery, but it is still in great condition. Definitely a driver's car. Um, unfortunately, this was one of those learn-as-you-go experiences, so the headliner is in the greatest shape, but it, like I mentioned, it's still great for a daily driver. Both the engine and transmission were pulled from this car during the process of the restoration. Uh, the original owner had mentioned that this engine was rebuilt at some point in its lifetime. I checked the compression and everything looked like it was running within spec. And verifying the case numbers, it does appear to be a later engine case. As you can probably tell, this engine and engine bay are no longer stock. The engine bay itself was seam shaved. Uh, there you can see where the original intake port would have been and it was converted to an alternator. Uh, being a California car, the heater tubes were also swapped out for J-tubes, and the engine mounts were converted to Porsche 911 engine mounts. Um, the original Type 3 engine mounts for the automatic transmission cars are getting exceedingly rare to find, and unfortunately, I couldn't find any, and I thought it would be easier to just swap them over to the Porsche mounts. Um, along with that engine bay shaving, there's a couple of other external details that aren't immediately obvious, but add a bit of cleanliness to the whole car. For example, the license plate bracket light that used to sit here was shaved back, as well as the little gap that used to sit here for the handle to pop over in the rear trunk. That's also been shaved back. I would argue that the custom work that went into this project is actually rather reserved. Uh, my main goal was to clean up but preserve a lot of the original lines and charm of this car. And here we have what Doug DeMiro might call an interesting quirk or feature. I want to tie in that interior to the exterior so I found some vinyl and I tried to match that wood grain from the steering wheel out to the glove box and finally to the fuel door. Here we see that bump for the front license plate has been shaved off. Now we're gonna take it for a drive down the block. This was a cold start after several weeks of sitting. Being here in California, everyone's on lockdown, so I haven't had a chance to take it out. A very rough idle on this first start. Of course, this will be tuned up prior to sale. But once it up a little bit and it has a pretty smooth idle.
So unfortunately, as I was pulling into my driveway, I don't quite know what happened, but she decided to quit on me. Uh, started right up, but it's something that I'll need to sort out before this goes out to market. Uh, probably need to adjust the points or check the timing. Again, this hadn't been driven in several weeks. You can probably see that I've installed the speaker kick panels in the front, but I haven't installed the speakers yet. All the wiring is done for an amplifier under the passenger side seat. I just haven't installed anything yet. I was going to do a Bluetooth system in there, but I guess that's up to the buyer's discretion if they want to put something in themselves or want me to do the work for that. So you can see this is my regular drive height. The beginning of the video is aired all the way out. Plenty of clearance, no scrubbing, anything like that. ride is using Airlift's Autopilot V2 system. It's the controller here. Uh, allows you to set some presets. I'm just going to air out the car. The front suspension has been converted to a narrowed Type 1 beam with drop spindles and Monroe air shocks. The rear independent suspension is now running off of Ride Tech shock waves. Thank you for watching.